Hi everyone, Phil from Tech for Techs here. Today we're going to be looking at this from Techware. It is the Talk Plus mouse. It's a gaming mouse which has got RGB, but not only that, it's also got an eSports sensor inside. And it's only 25 quid. And we've got links in the description if you're interested. Okay, so we're looking at the Techware Talk Plus high performance gaming mouse. We've got the gloss white version here. They do also do a black version as well. It's got 16.8 million RGB color lighting. So hopefully that means you can adjust the lighting to how you want. So 20 million lifespan mechanical switches on there, true. 6200 dpi resolution it's 30g acceleration and 220 ips tracking on there it's got a pixie art pwm 3327 sensor in it so it's nice that they're actually telling you what sensors in there so you can actually look it up rather than most mice don't tell you pretty much what's inside it they're actually letting you know yeah we're using this that's what we uh, what we use and we're not going to hide it or anything which is good and again the retail price on this thing is actually pretty low it's 25 pounds or 24.99 in uk pounds which is a pretty good price for a full rgb mouse which has got 6200 dpi so let's have a quick look at the box so it's white on the sides on the back it gives you a bit more information you've got your different things on here so it's telling you about the uh, uh, 20 million life to span switches it's got two zone customizable rgb lighting so two areas what you're customizable i'm guessing that's going to be the logo and the bit around the bottom but we'll have a look at closer in a minute um it's white gloss obviously we've told you there's a black version as well on there eight fully programmable buttons which is good and you've got textured side grips. I'm surprised it doesn't mention about the eight customizable buttons on the front, in all honesty, um, because that's one of the things I usually look out for when I'm getting a gaming mouse, make sure it's got enough buttons for my macros and stuff like that. But hey, but that's it basically for the box. Okay, so this is what you've got in the box. There's not much to write about, really, because you've got a mouse and you've got these little stickers here. If you're not sure what these stickers are, they're actually pads to go on the bottom. So as you can see there, there's four which help it glide. Well, these things can easily wear, uh, start peeling off sometimes, get dirt under them and get real mess. Well, you can clean the bottom off and stick a fresh set on. So that makes it last even longer because I've seen it many times where some of these pads go missing off the bottom of the and then that causes them to snag and not slide properly uh, or glide and it causes all sorts of issues so it's nice that they actually include those and I wish a lot more mice manufacturers would and that's not bad as well considering this is not really a top-end mouse this is a 25 pounds mouse which not exactly budget but it's definitely um, lower price than what you class as a mid-end mouse that's for sure uh, as you can see the mouse you've got the cable which is two meters long it does seem to have a gold end on it i'm guessing that's plated or something along that lines uh, which is always good but again gold doesn't really make any difference with the cable connections in all honesty it's just a marketing gimmick personally because it's down to the connectors inside and they'll only run at a certain speed it looks like a standard usb 2 cable on there it's got 11 adjustable lighting modes you've got adjustable dpi settings on there as well i'm guessing you're going to be using these buttons to adjust the dpi the optical sensor is esports grade as i've said it is the pwm 3327 optical center sensor that can go up to 6200 dpi and 30 inches per second that's ips tracking speed with 30g acceleration and as we said it's got rgb lighting all that in there and it's got in mold side grips and eight programmable buttons on there so let's take a closer look so as we said it's a nice braided cable on there i'll put some pictures close up looks nice looks a bit nice and soft um might i'm just wondering about this cable it might start um, fraying a little bit. I've seen this before on some cables like this. But, but in all honesty, you probably never notice um, because obviously your hands is on there. 
So what I'm going to do is plug this in so you can see what it looks like while we're looking at the rest of it so it's lit up and we'll have a look at the software, what it comes with in a few minutes. So as you can see you've got the mouse there. You can see the RGB lighting seems to be on the wheel as well, or at least shining through the rest of the body into the wheel to lighten it up. You do have what looks like a DPI button there, I'm just going to check that. Yeah, that's definitely a DPI button. Yeah, so it's basically DPI up and down. It looks like... There's four buttons there, the way it looks like that, one, two, three, four, but there's actually only two. That one and that one do nothing. Obviously, you've got a button on the wheel. So you've got two buttons there, one on the wheel. You've got one on the side there, another one on the side there, and another one there. So you've got three on this side here. Obviously, one button there, one there, which obviously makes eight. The sides, sort of a carbon fibre look inside on there that is textured plastic so it will help you grip uh, when your hands start getting a bit sweaty after you've been gaming for a few hours uh, you should be able to grip on there so that's pretty good they've got their logo there as well which lights up i'm guessing you'll be able to change the coloring of that uh, or at least i presume and then you've got this rgb strip what goes all the way around the edge uh, as well the bottom, as we said, you've already got these four skid plates, or whatever you want to call them, glide plates. You've got the model number and everything on there, and you've got that sensor, which they're proud to mention. Uh, it does look like there's a button there, which there is. What that actually does... I'm not entirely sure, so I'm going to have to look that one up and find out. Um, but uh, I didn't see any information about that on the box. I might be wrong. Yeah, look, I can't see any information about that. All I can think... Ah, right, okay. I've got it now. Stupid me. It's how you change the RGB light and if you're not using the software. So one press, you've got sort of that rainbow effect, another press turns it off, press it again, it goes white, press it again, it goes back to RGB, so you've got four options there for RGB off of the, uh, of the mouse directly, uh, but that doesn't seem to change the effects on there other than turning it off, so that bit might be stuck on white, but we'll find out in a second or two. So let's go to the software itself. Here we go, so this is a download, only downfall with software like this um, is you end up getting loads of programs on your computer, you end up with one for your mouse, one for your keyboard, maybe one for your headset, one for your RGB light and, and all your different things, so it ends up bunging the machine up. I wish they'd come up with a unified software which would work on all of them. Um, you used to get it with joysticks somewhat many years ago when they were popular you could just use the built-in joystick configuration thing built-in window to adjust all the buttons and so forth where it's a little bit more difficult with mice they don't seem to have the options and then obviously you've got all the options for doing macros and all this that and the other i wish microsoft would come with a universal program which all manufacturers use and it would be difficult with all the different designs and stuff but you can only just wish and hope. So let me go on to the option for LED. There's slow speed, fast speed. Um, there's about eight, maybe 10 presets. So you've got colorful streaming. You've got steady, so you can pick whatever color you want. So you have to press apply after each one. But having a quick look at the software, you can change the LED effects, sensitivity, You've got your buttons on there, so you can adjust what each button does. So you can adjust left, right button, wheel, as well as the two buttons, which are for DPI there, as well as the three buttons on the side. So it does have three, so don't get mixed up. You've got that one there. Size-wise, well, it fits my hand pretty much near enough perfect, to be honest with you. I've got very large hands, uh, and that fits me. So if you've got really small hands, it may not be the best mouse for you, in all honesty. Uh, but if you've got medium or large hands, I can't see you having an issue with it. It seems like a nice fit. You can change those RGB lighting if you want, but you have to do it on the bottom. But again, in all honesty, by the time you put your hand on it, and you're using it, are you going to see the RGB lights on it? Probably not, unless you take your hand off of it. So, in all honesty, RGB lighting on mice 
is RGB lighting on a mouse is a preference thing. It's down to you. It might look good on your uh, on your uh, desk when you're not touching it or whatever and you want to stare at your desk and go oh look at my nice looking PC and light up what this that and the other but in all reality when you're using it you're not going to see it because your hands are covering 95% of the RGB when you are using it. Okay let's have a look at the software what comes with the mouse. Uh, first of all you've got your options for your buttons here so you can change what the buttons do so the top buttons, for example, which is 6 and 7, which change your DPI, you can actually change those to do different things. So lighting on and off, uh, free click, scroll down, up, you can have it set DPI, you've got multimedia, and so forth. So you can even set it up for one of your macros, which I'll show you how to create in a few seconds. So they're basically customizable to whatever you want, and that's every button that can be anything so even your left mouse button you can change to something completely different which is pretty good uh, you've got your macro editor there so if you click macro editor you can then create a new macro which then brings up a box like this and name it so we'll just call it new and then we'll press modify and then we can type down basically whatever keys we want it to be for the macro so let's just say you were playing a game and you needed specifically to play keys number one two three four five you just press start record and then press one two three four five obviously with the interval you want afterwards press stop record and that has now uh, been saved as a macro so you've got that as a macro and you can well basically do what you what you want with it. Um, so you can then go and add that onto one of the buttons. So let's go to the DPI. You click macro and it says which macro do you want new. And so when you press button number seven, it will now pop up and run that macro automatically. So it'll automatically press key one, two, three, four, five on your keyboard at the intervals you set. Ideal for stuff like MMO games, stuff like that. Maybe some games where you lack a combination of skills uh, to launch all at the same time. Uh, and you just don't want to be bothered to have to keep pressing one, two, three, four, five, or whatever it may be. Uh, again, it doesn't have to be one, two, three, four, five. You can pretty much use any key on the keyboard. So that is good. So you've got profiles, so you can set up profiles one, two, and three. So you could um, set the uh, mouse up to run, uh, for example, uh, on uh, set it up for first person shooters, you could have it set up for doing photo editing and you could have it set up for your MMO games and stuff like that. So you can set it up three different ways uh, with the profiles there. Uh, you can even create a new profile uh, and I presume you can call it, we'll just have a look. Yeah, so you can actually add more than three profiles and it's just that it's pre three preset ones already in there um, but you can delete those as well so that's pretty good and you can export them and import them so you can basically save them uh, and move the uh, profile onto another machine if you so wish uh, let's say you use a laptop and a PC you can swap the mouse between the two and then you've got the exact profiles on both uh, on the right hand side you've got a few different options you've got DPI settings this is where you can adjust the DPI levels you can manually click on which DPI level you want it on so you click on whichever one you want and depending on how you've got your lighting set up on your mouse it will change the colour as you change the DPI setting. Uh, you can obviously change that colour as well to something else or if you've got strobe lighting on you won't see a difference. But if you wanted the plus and minus DPI in the top to do different speeds you can manually adjust it. So if you press the DPI button four times it will now go up to 4000 DPI rather than 3200 and you can adjust that on all the steps so you didn't really you only wanted a slight difference between like number one and two you could do it uh, but that's totally up to you lighting this is obviously where you change the colors of it so you've got colorful streaming that's pretty much like it was in the video you've got steady so that'll stay on uh, whichever color you want it to be uh, and then you've got brightness you can see how bright it is and so forth you've also got uh, breathing so it sort of go fades in and out basically uh, colorful tail which again does a, a sort of a, a running around effect but there's quite a few different things on there and you can even turn the LEDs off if you didn't want it um, but there are a few on there which uh, may uh, 
look a bit like a disco, for example, the flicker. You've got mouse parameters on there, so you can change how sensitive it is, so that's how it moves around your screen and your scrolling speed and double click speed and so forth. So you can adjust all that in there as well. And you've got your polling rate in there as well. So overall, you've got a very good mouse for basically 25 quid where you can change RGB light and you can create macros. It's got high DPI on there. It's got pretty much everything you need for a mouse. It's not a bad build quality, don't get me wrong, if you're spending a little bit more, like £100, £150, yeah, you're going to get a better mouse, there's no question about it. For 25 quid though, you've basically got a pretty much all singing and dancing mouse, and again, that's just £25.